Next question is about the Burgundy and Gold, the home team. After a one and nine start, Tom Monados of Twitter is asking if this is the worst Washington team in the Daniel Snyder era. Or Mike Wise has an answer for him. <laughs> it's been 20 years of calamity, chaos, occasional comedy, but mostly just bad football. And the franchise whose bandwagon everyone in the Washington region jumped on some three decades ago is now asking its scarred legions each Sunday to hop aboard the Armageddon Express. Six games left and only one question remains. Is this the nadir of Daniel Snyder's stewardship? You bet your purple lot parking pass it is. When you have one win, nine losses, and give up more yardage than France in 1803, that's a history lesson, kids, there is but one question to ask. Is this the worst team in the Dan Snyder era? It's not an easy one. After all, as the only franchise in the NFL since 1999 not to post an 11 win season and win just two playoff games in 20 years, this eyesore of a roster can't just waltz away with the We Stink title. It has competition. Take 2009, the last of Coach Jim Zorn's two forgettable years. They finished four and 12, Zorn had his play calling duties stripped from him in midseason and given to Sherm Lewis, a former NFL assistant who was moonlighting as, true story, a bingo caller when Snyder offered him the gig. The Burgundy Gold wasn't just bad, they were comically embarrassing. Once down 24 0 to the Giants before halftime, Zorn attempted a fake field goal with no blockers but the guy hiking the ball. It's still a YouTube classic. So he motions the kicker out. Then there's always 2013, the year it all fell apart for my way, Mike Shanahan. Washington finished 3-13, Snyder's worst record to date, and the coach-quarterback divorce became official. Robert Griffin III got hurt again and never got better. It got so bad at the end, Shanahan put out media leaks because he actually wanted to be fired. After Shanahan denied ever talking to a media person off the record, Pro Football Talk simply labeled it, quote, a contention that many in the media deemed to be outlandish, not credible, and ultimately not true, end quote. Still, the more this 2019 squad lays more eggs, it's clearly chugging along as an almost lock to take the worst Dan Snyder team ever crowned. Washington is the lowest scoring team in the NFL, averaging just 12.5 points per game. Even firing Jay Gruden didn't help. They haven't won at home in a year and 28 days. Until the second half of their loss to the Jets last Sunday, this putrid collection of football players did not score a touchdown for 16 straight quarters. Dwayne Haskins started at quarterback for the first time at home this season. He was so furious that his offensive line couldn't protect him, he actually asked players on the sideline, how do I help you? Yes, that's right. The rookie asks the veterans that question. Their remaining schedule includes four of six teams with 500 or better records, including the Packers and the Cowboys. There is a real possibility they could go 1-15. and 15. And if that happens, then we start talking about the most malodorous team in franchise history.